Hello, good evening. Good evening, good evening. Good evening, happy Friday. How are you today? Happy because, well, it's Friday and most of you don't have to work on weekend. Some of you do, but relax. It's almost done. The weekend is uh, like a couple of steps away from us, so you should be okay. Well, thank you for being on time. I hope that you have had a good day, at least. And, uh, well, we're going to start from where we stopped yesterday. We want to see, we need to see this video and uh, about the conversation, what should I see there? But before we start, I want to congratulate. So you were working in the platform. So remember that you are expected to complete section one and two for today. And uh, yes, uh, uh, I don't know if you have any question about any exercises from section one or two. You have completed? Did you complete your exercise? Not yet. Not yet. I, uh, I have a problem because I I finished the, the module and I don't I don't know how I can to enter to the platform. But I don't know. so you cannot access to the platform, Maria? Yes, I can to do it. And I don't know why. But in the previous modules, were you able to access to the platform? Yeah. So you should report that. Tienen que reportarlo. Ada? Yes. Sí, teacher. Yo estaba teniendo como dificultad en un ejercicio de la sección 2 en el ejercicio 2.6. Entonces, solo es una que sale mala. Y, y no sé si me podría ayudar a hacer en eso. Uh -huh. Yes, uh, eh, recuerden que las secciones son para ayudarle ya sea con eh, temas de acá, de lo que estamos viendo de la plataforma o, ok, este ejercicio es el que me dice que tiene problemas, el 2.6. Eh, sí, solo que me sale, ah, sí, sí, es eso. To 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 el número 4. To see, ah, okay. Uh -huh. Just to see. No, it's to see. Esto lo mandé, creo que en el grupo de, de, de WhatsApp, porque alguien, uh, alguien pidió ayuda con este ejercicio. Ah, uh -huh. Sí, ahí están las, ahí está la foto en el grupo, porque lo mandé al grupo. Ah, sí, perdón, no lo había visto. You're welcome. Any other question? Alguien más necesita ayuda con algún otro ejercicio? No? Muy mm, bien. Entonces, sí, recuerda eh, reportar eso, María, porque si no le van a tomar como si, eh, como abandono, si no avanza en la plataforma. Entonces, pues, eh, reportarlo en el, en el grupo de WhatsApp, puede, o oh, ahí están los coordinadores de inglés corporativo, puede mm, buscarlos, ahí están ellos con la fotito y están identificados como con, con la uh, logo de la academia. Entonces, a cualquiera de ellos le puede pedir ayuda. O oh, creo que Flor Sánchez es la encargada de, de este grupo. Entonces, sí, le pueden escribir directamente sí. a ella. Uh -huh. Sí, sí, ya, ya, ya me comuniqué con ella y este me dice de que intente con, con el otro correo, con un correo electrónico. Entonces, no, bueno, después de la clase lo voy a seguir intentando. 
porque desde ayer estoy va a intentar entrar y no he podido. Pero sí voy a seguir intentando. Bueno, ojalá que lo logre, María. Y cualquier cosa es estar este, chequeando con, con, con ello, ¿verdad? Para que hasta que le funcione, ¿verdad? Insistir un poco porque sí necesitan estar al día con eso. Oh, okay, so if there are no more questions or doubts about the exercises, uh, we're going to start by checking this video about the conversation. What should I see there? So let me share sound with you. And then we're going to watch the video together. Hi, I want you to listen to this conversation and try to identify the modal verbs which are being introduced in this audio program. Also, it is recommended for you to practice this conversation with someone else. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure I can. What would you like to know? Well, what's a good time to visit? I think you can go anytime. The weather is always nice. Oh, good. And what should I see there? Well, you should definitely visit the National Museum and go to the Palace of Fine Arts. And what else? Oh, you shouldn't miss the Pyramid of the Sun. It's very interesting. It all sounds really exciting. Could you identify the most that were used there in the conversation? Yes. Okay, which one for the So there are two and they are the ones that we are going to be practicing. We're going to be practicing with should and could. Those two models, but first we're going to practice the conversation. Remember that the first practice we're going to um, do it here uh, in the main section with microphones off, but you can repeat at home and then we're going to proceed to practice in the um, breakup rooms. So let's begin. Let's, let me check the audio here. Page 75, exercise seven, conversation. What should I see there? Part A. Listen and practice. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure. What would you like to know? Well, I'm going to be there next month, but for only two days. What should I see? Oh, you should definitely visit the Palace of Fine Arts. It's really beautiful. Okay. Anything else? You shouldn't miss the Museum of Modern Art. It has some amazing paintings. Great. And is there anything I can do for free? Sure. You can walk in the parks, go to outdoor markets, or just watch people. It's a fascinating city.
teacher, disculpe, no estoy haciendo Yo don't hear you. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, uh, so do you have any questions about the conversation that you just practiced? All right, if there are no questions, we're going to proceed to the breakout room so that you can practice this with your classmates. Remember that this is in the material that I sent yesterday, so you can download from the WhatsApp group. I'm going to create the rooms and you will practice with your classmates. And I will be adding the rest of the people because it's not, well, almost everybody is in now. So I think it's five people is gonna be okay. All right, there you go. Hi. Hi. Hola, hola. Eh, le nice to meet you. I nice can see you. Le tomé captura a la conversación para que la veamos. Chivísimo. Thank you. Lo hacemos de dos en dos. Y luego nos tomamos, no sé si te parece. Me parece súper bien. Quiero ver si la puedo. Ahí está. Ahí sí la veo mejor. Okay. Okay. ¿Quién empieza? Usted. Ah, perdón, perdón. Eh, sí, lo siento. Perdón. Chivísimo. Ahí está. Eh, can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure. What do you, what what would you like to know? Well, I am going to be there next month, but for only today. What should I see? Oh, you should definitely visit the palace, the palace, palace of, of, of sorry. <laughs> oh, you should definitely visit the palace of fine arts. It's really beautiful. Okay. Anything else? You should miss the Museum of Modern Art. It has some amazing paintings. Great. And is there anything I can do for free? Sure. You can walk in the parks, go to go to old outdoor market, or just watch people. It's fascinating. Fascinating. Definitely visit the Palace of Fine Art. It's really beautiful. Okay, anything else? You shouldn't miss the Museum of Modern Art. It has some amazing painting. Great. And is there anything I can do for free? Sure. You can walk in the parks, go to outdoor markets, or just watch people. It's a fascinating city. Okay. Chicos, ¿qué sigue? What do you see, Francisco? Sí. Uh, you are Thomas, uh, we are... Uh, the well, second person. Yeah, because, Helena, Helena. <laughs> the second person. Helena. In this case. 
Uh, can you tell me a, can you tell me a little about Mexico here? Sure. What would you like to know? Uh, well, I'm going to be there next month, but for only two days. Well, what you what show I see? Oh, you so definitely visit the place of fine fine arts. It's really beautiful. Okay. Anything else? You soon you shall miss sure. the museum of art. It's some amazing painting. Man. Great. And is there anything I can do for I can do for free? Sure. You can walk in the park, go to an outdoor market, or just watch people. It's a fascinating city. Man. Okay. Eh, una pregunta. El outdoor market sería. Eh, Son los eh, mercados abiertos. Que hay mercados abiertos. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay. Anything else? Me... Sandra Noemi, can you hear me? Hello. Or maybe you can practice now with Anna. Yes, yes, teacher. Ya eh, participé, pero podemos ah. volver. Are you practice with Daniel or you practice with Francisco or just with Sandra? With Sandra. No, with um, Ana Silvia. Okay, now you can practice with one of the boys. Uh, yes, they, they participate. Maybe we can change the, the, the person, the partner. Uh-huh, yes, you can change. I think okay. that Ana Silvia and Ana Ivania, you can okay. you, you can change the, the what do you say, Francisco? Okay. Uh, the partners, partners. partners yeah. pareja. Okay. Yeah. Hey. Francisco. Okay. Uh, can you Thomas. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Uh, uh, can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure. What food do you like to know? Well, I go to be there next month, but for only two days. What should I see? Oh, you show the family visit the Palace of Fine Arts. It's really beautiful. Okay. Anything else? You show miss the museum museum of modern art it is some amazing paintings museum museum great uh, and is there anything i can do i can do for free sure you can walk in the park go to outdoor markets or just watch people it's a fascinating city okay okay daniel with anna anna silvia anna silvia uh, what do you think about is me thomas you are elena Working in two. Yeah. Okay. Uh, hello, Ana Silvia. Can you tell me a little, a little about Mexico City? Sure. What would you like to know? Well, I'm going to be there the next month, but only for only two two days. What what show I see? Oh, you should definitely visit the Palace of Fine Art. It's really beautiful. Okay, okay. Anything else? You shouldn't miss the Museum of Modern Art. It has some amazing painting. Right, Ana Silvia. Um, is there anything 
I can do for free? Sure, you can walk in the park, go to outdoor market, or just watch people. It's a fascinating city. Okay, thank you. Okay, bye. Good job. Bye. -bye. It's only for three, three, thirty minutes. Certainly, really. <laughs> Me gusta practiquemos nosotros. Chivo. Espérame que se me había desactivado el micrófono. Oh, a ver cómo regreso porque desde el teléfono me cuesta. Yeah, everybody is back again, I guess. Let me double check here and in the breakout rooms. Yes, uh, so uh, is there any question that you have? I entered, I, I was in all the rooms at least for a little while and I most of you were practicing, but I, I stayed in one room that nobody was participating. I don't know why, but uh, remember that it's important if you want to improve your English, you need to practice. And this is part of what we must do to practice. If you are in the room and nobody is participating, you can chat to me. You can um, text me. Sometimes during the day, probably I'm not really, really aware of my cell phone because I, I work in a call center during the day. But yes, you can text me when uh, when we are here in the class. I try to check that WhatsApp from, from time to time. So you can ask me, teacher, I'm in room number tall and, and nobody is practicing here. Can you move me? And I'm going to move you, okay? Okay. Because yes, it is. It we cannot okay. force you to practice. We cannot force you, but if you are willing to practice and nobody else wants to practice in the groups, please let me know. You can text me, and, um, or you can select direct message and message the host. And I'm going to see the message. And uh, yes, I can move you to a different room if you want to practice. Okay. But okay. most of you, most of the rooms, you were doing a very, very good job. I just listened a couple of words that were like um, difficult to pronounce. For example, the word, let's see, hmm. uh, museum, museum, mm -hmm. museum of modern art. Mm -hmm. And then painting, so that's, it's painting like this. It don't complicate your life, it's painting. It's qu quite simple, but sometimes we say, am I doing this correct? <laughs> but yes, you are. And the other was fascinating, fascinating. And just just three words, so you did it pretty good. Sure, teacher, and the pronunciation of definitely. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, I know it's kind of uh, difficult, but it's that. What is that, that one? So I can um, make it easier for you. Mm -mm -mm. I don't see it. Uh, ah, this one. Definitely. It's like this E, like it doesn't sound really definitely. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Uh -huh. Es como que uh, solo la primera vocal suena clara. La demás como que se las contrae. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Definitely. Ajá, uh -huh. yeah, you got it, you got it. Excellent. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Excellent. You see, you get it. It's just practice. And uh, always ask if you have any doubt. But you did it good. Thank you so much for asking. Anybody else would like to practice any uh, word from this conversation that you think is difficult? Uh, teacher, I have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, the pronunciation, the, the last is fascinating. fascinating fascinating 
Wait, wait, wait. Fast. Fascinating. Ajá, uh -huh. fascinating. Fascinating. Mm. Try, fascinating. Don't overthink. <laughs> Don't <laughs> overthink. Just let it go. Repeat. Just listen and repeat like a, like a baby. Remember, that's the way that's the way the babies learn. When you are when you were little kids, when you were babies, you just repeated what you hear with no worries. You just repeat. Fascinating. 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 Excellent. You see, it's not really complicated. <laughs> La verdad no es tanto. Yo creo que no sé si es que le da pena o, o, o pero es algún tipo de obstáculo. Eh, the key is just let it go. Así como cuando los bebés, uno no sabe escribir, no sabe leer, pero aprenden a hablar como imitando exactamente como escuchó el sonido, lo imita y lo repite. Y ya empezamos a hablar. Así es como aprendimos a hablar chiquitito, ¿verdad? Así vamos a aprender inglés. Sí, solo repetir, no lo duden, porque también me fijé en eso. Estuve, por lo menos escuché alguna o dos veces que practicaron en cada room y hasta de repente decían la palabra bien, pero como que de repente dudan si la dijeron bien y la dicen de otra forma. So, yes, you have to también confident. You need to feel confident. Ajá, uh -huh, Silvia, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> And you say hi. Hi. Yes. Yeah. Sorry. In the in the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You did it great. 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 You You did it You did Thank you so much. Hay una parte que dice, vaya, dice, sure, you can walk in the park, go to outdoor markets, outdoor, outdoor, out, outdoor, 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 outdoor mm -hmm. markets, ¿qué, ¿qué significa? Afuera eh, de las tiendas. No, es, mm -hmm, es un mercado al aire libre, ah, sin techo. Un ah, mercado como, como que, ajá, mercados al aire libre, no están dentro de un lugar, ¿ok? Ah, mm -hmm. okay. Thank son you. al aire libre, no están adentro de un lugar. Son uh, outdoor markets, es como decir mercado al aire libre. Me, I was, uh, I got some problem with Thank you. Life. You're welcome. Uh, I, I couldn't hear somebody else was talking. Uh, uh -huh. Yes. Uh, yes, Vicente, I can hear you. Yes, teacher, I, I got some problem with internet and uh, I was out. A few uh, okay, thank you for letting me know. Thank you so much. Uh, well, before we check the next video, you. we, uh, you're welcome. We're going to check attendance so we can, uh, I think that most of your students are in now. So we're going to check attendance and then we're going to continue with the topics for tonight. Ada Marilu. Thank you. Alejandra Beatriz. Alejandra Beatriz. Ana Ivania. Present. Thank you, Ana. Ana Silvia Rodríguez de Flores. Ya, hoy ya, ya lo conecté. Ya. Ana Silvia Rodríguez de Flores, no está aquí. Ana Silvia Rodríguez de Funes. Present. Thank you. Ana Yancy Martínez. Thank you, Ana. Brian Alexis Orellana. Brian Alexis Orellana. Cristina del Carmen Calderón. Present. 
present. Thank you. Daniel Alejandro Yanes. Present teacher. Thank you. Diana Stephanie Cortez. Present. Thank you. Diana Esmeralda Ayala. Diana Esmeralda Ayala. Eduardo José Melgar. Present. Thank you. Evelyn Susana. Evelyn Susana. Francisco Daniel. Present. Thank you. Iris Concepción. Present teacher. Thank you. María del Carmen. Present teacher. Thank you, María. Nancy Carolina. Patricia and Maris. Present teacher. Thank you. Rafael Cruz. Present teacher. Thank you. Rafael Ernesto Guzmán. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Rosa Hilda Solórzano. Rosa Hilda. Thank you. Ruth Elizabeth Flores. I'm present. Present. Thank you, Ruth. Sandra Noemi Hernández. Present. Thank you. Vicente Israel Sánchez. Here, teacher. Thank you. Jessica Rosibel Melara. Present. Thank you so much. Okay, now we're going to continue with the video that we have in the platform. Um, uh, Patricia preguntó else. Else, se pronuncia else. La última e no, no, no suena, else. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, I'm going to share the screen so that we can uh, watch the video about the models should and could together. And then we're going to study and practice it. You have already listened to a conversation where can and should were introduced. Those are called modal verbs. Modal verbs show a speaker's attitude or mood. We can also use them to ask for and give advice. Stay with us as we will explain them. Modal verbs can and should. What can I do in Mexico City? You can see the Palace of Fine Arts. You can't visit some museums on Mondays. What should I see there? You should visit the National Museum. You shouldn't miss the Pyramid of the Sun. Okay, we'll talk about the modal verbs can and should. This is how we'll use it in a question. WH question word plus modal verb plus subject plus verb plus question mark. Where should we go? And this is how we use it in a positive sentence. Subject plus modal verb plus verb plus complement. We should go to a museum. This is how we use it in a negative sentence. Subject plus modal verb plus not plus verb, plus complement. We shouldn't go to a museum. It is important to notice that models do not take a final S and neither does the main verb. He should go to a museum. Maria shouldn't drink. Did you notice? There's no change on should and neither on the main verb go.
What did you get from the video? Or do you have any question about the video? Is it clear now? The rules, the structure, the explanation? It's clear, teacher. Okay, thank you so much for confirming. As there are no questions, so um, we're going it's okay, to... Teacher. It's okay? All right, good. So then we're going to continue with the content here. So let's... Okay, this is what we have. This is what uh, you already listened in the video, uh, how to use the modal verbs can and should. You listen and be able to watch how the the how is it the structure for the questions with the models and also with sentences. Uh, you also listen that after can and should we need to place a verb, and this verb is not going to be modified or altered in any way. It doesn't matter if we are talking about a third person singular, it's okay. You don't have to modify the verb after the auxiliary. That's important to, um, to have this in mind. And with this, we are going to complete using can, can't, should, or shouldn't. So we have to complete this convert the this uh, some of them are questions plus answers so they are like a small conversations so we have to complete them remember we're going to use the auxiliaries can and should in affirmative and in negative form depending of what we have here in the reading and you have uh, you can discuss the answers in groups so let me recreate the breakout rooms and do remember that if you are having issues, uh, you can ask for help. Uh, there is a button there. Hay un botoncito por ahí que dice ask for help, pedir ayuda si necesitan que me mueva a un room. Um, so you can press that one or you can um, send a, a message that can be a here in the meeting, uh, so just select the person you want to read it, in this case, me, or you can use the, the WhatsApp chat as well. Hi, who's going to share a screen so you can work in the exercises? Or do I have to move Rafael to another room? Yes. Okay. okay.
Pueden ver. Sí. Aquí. Entonces lo empezamos a resolver. Vaya. Yo creo que la letra A, la primera, es shouldn't. Should es... Shouldn't, don't you? Shouldn't, creo yo. Why shouldn't? Why okay. shouldn't? Remember, Because... always ask if you have any doubt or if you are not sure, si no están seguros, siempre pregunten. ¿Verdad? Si me dicen no, no hay preguntas, ok, entonces seguimos. Pero esa es una oración, ok, y a veces tenemos que leer todo. Y dice, I decide where to go on my vacation. Y it says, you go to India. It's my favorite place to visit. Uh, no puede ir shouldn't porque, ¿qué significa shouldn't? O cómo podemos interpretar should. ¿Cuál es la diferencia de can y should? Los dos son modals auxiliaries, pero hay alguna diferencia. La diferencia es que lo orientamos más a posibilidad, a una habilidad. Uh -huh. Y should es más como para dar una sugerencia, una opinión, un um, consejo. Esa es la diferencia de ellos dos. Entonces, la, la primera yo la interpretaría como no puedo decidir dónde ir en mi vacación. Yeah. I can't. Ajá, uh -huh. I can't. Uh -huh. I okay. can't decide where to go on my vacation. Les dije, son pequeñas conversaciones. Entonces, eh, yo expreso que no puedo decidir a dónde ir en vacación. Entonces, en la parte B, por lo que leemos, está sugiriendo. Entonces, para sugerir algo, para dar mi opinión, yes. para should. should, ajá, you oh. should go to India. You should go to India. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, oh. Excelente. Ay, don Vicente, se volvió a caer el internet. Por Dios. Este. You. You can, en positivo, you can go anytime, anytime. La siguiente. Ahí. Ajá. ¿Qué es en positivo? Uh -huh. Ok. La siguiente, esta insistencia si es el Can I rent a car? O es show, como puedo rentar o debería rentar. No sé. Debería rentar porque lo estoy diciendo como en forma de pregunta, creo. Ah, bueno, ok. Show, Porque no va a trabajar. 
Sí, porque si sería que, creo que sería como puedo rentar. La, la respuesta es que sería con que no, you can use the software. No, sí. tú puedes. Ah, es simplemente el bien 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 I'm sorry, do you have any question or something that is troubling you? No sé si las que hemos hecho también, Peter. Veamos. Um... When do you think I should go? Mm -hmm. You. Mm -hmm. uh, should I rent a car? Yes. Mm -hmm. Las que han hecho están bien. ¿Tienen alguna duda? Eh, ¿Cuándo usar should, could, can? Or... Pero las que han hecho están bien. Creo que solamente es de buscar como el contexto de toda la oración y así decidir. Ah, ok. So you can analyze the context and then you decide what to use. But yes, you have done a good job with number one, two, and three. So continue working. Thanks, teacher. La siguiente no. Yo creo que es Ken en positivo. La número eh, tres siempre. Uh -huh. You can't en negativo. Uh -huh. Porque está preguntando, no. do you recommend it? Vaya, le pregunta, ¿debería rentar un carro? Bueno, ajá, ¿qué me recomiendas? No, tú puedes. Claro, ¿qué me recomiendas? No. Ajá, pero, o sea, no le recomienda, tú puedes. O sea, el puedes es positivo. You can. Bueno, no, tú puedes definitivamente usar el, el metro, por ejemplo. Es más rápido y eficiente. Ajá, ok. You can. Ok. Entonces, ¿cuál? Ken. No? Ken. Ok. Ken. Ok. And the next one. Where. Aquí creo que también sería Ken. Where can I get some nice jewelry in Bangkok? Creo que son como joyas. ¿Dónde puedo como conseguir buenas joyas en Bangkok? Uh -huh. Sí, ¿verdad? ¿Sería qué? Sí. Yes, my friend. I got some problem with internet, so I was out for a few minutes, but um, I didn't hear the instruction. Um, I guess uh, you are practice um, can, can't, should, and shouldn't, right? Yes. Uh huh. That yes. is what we are practicing, Vicente. But I see that you're practicing in the platform. Did you finish the exercise from the material? Um. Yes, I was working yesterday at night, and uh, I um, I answer two quizzes, and I was in in this uh, in this lesson. Uh huh. Okay, but before uh, I see that you're in this group, you are practicing in the platform. Did you finish the exercise from the PowerPoint? Uh, that is also uh, in yet. the material. Uh, not yet. I was, no, because uh, I was out for a few minutes. I got some problem with internet. Okay. But, um, 
I, I got it. All right. Um, uh, if you if you want to share, I I can practice. Right now, I don't know with anyone if uh, anyone can help me to practice only. Can you go back to the exercise that we were uh, about to solve? Oh. Uh, let's see who's sharing the screen. Uh, Francisco, can you go back to the PowerPoint presentation? Uh, I don't download the presentation in WhatsApp. Oh, you didn't download the presentation and yes. the material from the platform? Uh, this is the, the manual. Uh, and, oh, the manual. Uh, no, I don't. I don't download the manual. You didn't I, download the manual. Mm -hmm. All right. Nobody did. Um. Okay, let me share. Okay, this is what you were supposed to do, okay? Uh -huh. And, uh -huh, this is the exercise that you oh, yeah. were supposed to do in the groups. And you should complete using can, okay. can't, should, or shouldn't. So, Vicente, for number one, we have, yeah. they are like short conversation. Number one, two, three, four, five, they are short conversation between A or B. A said, I decide where to go on my vacation. And letter B said, you go to India. It's my favorite place to visit. So what models auxiliaries do I have to use in this okay. exercise? Uh, the one in letter A, mm -hmm. I guess is I can decide where to go on my vacation. Uh huh. Negative, and right? I can't. B, mm -hmm. And letter B. And letter B is uh, uh, you should go to India. It's my favorite place to visit. Excellent. Yes, you are correct. Those are the answers. Okay, okay. And number two, Anna Silvia. Number two, I'm planning to go to Bogota next year. Mm -hmm. Next year, when do you think I? When do you think I? I should go. Mm -hmm. Because we are asking for recommendation for advice. Okay, and B. Is it you? You can go anytime. You can go anytime. Excellent. The weather, so weather is nice. Mm -hmm. The weather is nice almost all year. Excellent. Very well done, Sylvia. Thank Ana you. Ivania, number three. Oh, God. Time is running fast. Hey, um, hey, uh, can I rent a car when I arrive in Cairo? What do you recommend? Mm -hmm. okay. No, you can define me. Mm. Uh oh, no puedo leerlo. <laughs> define me, finally. Aquí está, perdón. Use the subway, it's fast and efficient. Efficient. Efficient, okay. Uh -huh. So in this, because they are asking for a recommendation, the, the best model auxiliary that we can use here is should. Sure. Because we, okay. uh -huh, she's asking for advice. So should I rent a card when I arrive in Cairo? What do you recommend? Debería. Okay, no. Sure. You 
Ajá, uh -huh. you, you show. They yeah. finally use, definitely definitely use the subway. It's fast and you efficient. Efficient. Uh huh. Efficient. So yes, remember but, that whenever we. Okay. Well, uh, did you find any difficulty with this exercise? You want to check your answers? Uh, with uh, with Eiffel, Eiffel Tower, <laughs> mm -hmm. La Torre Eiffel. How is the pronunciation? Oh, so you're having issues with the pronunciation. Okay. And about the uses of when do you use should or could, is it really clear? Well, unfortunately, we don't have enough time to practice the pronunciation like for today, but we're going to do it on Monday. So we're going to check your answers on Monday and we will practice pronunciation. Okay, so thank you for joining today's section and I hope that you have a very nice weekend and see you on Monday, you, if you. God willing. See you on Monday. Thank you. Good night. See you on Monday. Good night. Thanks. Thanks. Enjoy your weekend. Bye. 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 Bye.